All right, so our focus here is learning target number three, which is focused on the Big Bang nucleosynthesis. So again, nucleosynthesis is that fancy word for fusion, where we have elements forming through combination or combining. And then of course, Big Bang is that early universe. So we're thinking about fusion or combination of things to create new elements during the formation of the universe, during that Big Bang. And you read through that in this section of your assignment, Origin of Elements. You had a few questions here about what these initial elements were and where did they come from. So this is an awesome resource as you work through this learning target. Reminder, as we're working on our learning targets, we got a couple keywords that we need to use to um, complete it. So we want to make sure that all of those things get added into our learning target. And every time we use them, we want to make sure we highlight them up. So the first thing, this should sound a little bit familiar, but our first three elements in the Big Bang, we did talk through a little bit last unit. So getting our sentence starter going, we have three early elements are And then we should be able just to list them out. We had hydrogen, we had helium, and we also had lithium. So when we look at our periodic table, which we got one way down here, right, we can find those elements here, hydrogen, helium, and lithium. Those are some of our initial elements. And the reason that there are beginning elements is because of how small they are. That's why they're up here at the tippy top on the periodic table, is because of their size or their mass, rather. So when we think here, why would these be the first elements to form? Again, getting our sentence starter going. These elements are first to form, again, because, and then we want to explain out our thinking, right? Our reasoning on why those happened first, initially, as the universe started being created. Well, those happen to be some of our very first elements because of their size, right? So you want to be writing down a couple things that we're discussing here. Their size is very small, right? These are our small mass elements. How small do we remember from our reading? Well, because they're made up of only one proton and one neutron. They have our initial particles only. So in the Big Bang, once these atomic particles were created, these elements then could be created. So they're made up of only one proton and one neutron, right? They're so small, they're made up of just these mini atomic particles. Once those existed, these elements formed. So again, these are our must-use words. Once you use them, highlight them up on your screen. So these elements were first to form because of their mass. It was so small and so simple. All that was needed was one proton, one neutron, and those elements could be created. Having those elements then allows us to have enough stuff out there in the universe to create our stellar nucleosynthesis. The fusion within stars, both low mass and high mass. And that's coming up with our learning target four and five.